Hey you guys, um, I know you guys out there love the knockoff reviews that I do and this was the first thing I ever did a knockoff review of. Um, it is a Groot. I got it all those years ago from good old AliExpress. Um, yeah, so I thought, seeing as we're in a time where it's hard to get hold of some things, I would give you a... now we've got... let me see these... the fancy lights and the better setup. I'd show you it again. Uh, I have been asked a few times about this, whether it smelt. Um, no, it didn't. Uh, it did come in a box um, all those years ago, but it uh, it was just like the... You've, you've had hot toys, right? It's the, the slidey box, then there's a sleeve over it. It was just the bit in the middle with the plastic and everything. It did have another head with an angry head. I also had a glowing hand, but I'm not sure over the years where I've put those. Um, but this is, yeah, knockoff KO Hot Toys Groot. So, a closer look. There he is, his happy smiley face. I've always thought it's got a really good paint job on it. I have always had an urge to get some, um, you know, the moss stuff that you use on train sets and things like that, and just kind of glue it, you know, a bit of PVA glue, and glue it around these parts, just to give him a little bit more of a realistic look. I've always kind of wanted to moisten the eyes a bit more as well. You know, get some gloss, transparent gloss paint and just over them. Give them a bit more punch. He does have all these sticky twiggy bits in his head there. And there is bits that do stick out. Um, interesting thing, the face unplugs like so. I think the real ones have magnets inside and this one just... Because when I got him out of the cabinet over there, <clears throat> dry throat, um, <laughs> he, um, yeah, his head fell off, well that bit fell off, it took me ages to find it, because it had fallen down the back of a box that's down there, but anyway, so yeah, I think the paint job on it is quite good, it's quite steadily made, I'd forgotten that these bits, well, even these bits, they're on like a, a pivot thing, so that if you move the legs up, it moves with it, so these, these are the things that made me go, would, would the knockoff people bother to put something that complicated into it? Yeah. And all these little bits that are sticking out like these. Can you see them? Little vines. Just little rubbery pieces of plastic. Right down to his little tushies. Little feet. He does stand really well. Really good, sturdy, sturdy feet. Um, let's just show you some of the articulation on it. Obviously, it's usual stuff. Arms only come up to about there. Um, I'm being quite gentle with him because he hasn't really been that moved. He stands in my um, glass cabinet over there with my other Gardens of the Galaxy. I've got Gamora, Peter and Rocket. Star Lord and Rocket. I've always wanted, and obviously Groot, all I need is Drax, but <laughs> you try and find a Drax for a good price. Um, I kind of gave up a little bit on the Hot Toys because they, they cost so much, so I do get a few KOs because they're quite cheap. Obviously they don't make the ones I want, so um, yeah. Let's see all the way around there. They have dry brushed in some colours there. So yeah, so he's standing in the cabinet, but he, the, the shelf's about that big. So he stands, as you can see, he's got kind of a lean. I kind of lean him. You know, it's like a, a pose like that. So that he fits in the shelf. Like that. But yeah. Yeah, as you can see, there's articulation in there. It is just a, like a dumbbell joint, which is quite good. It squeaks a bit. I mean, we don't really play with it. Oh, yeah. Um, these joints, see that? It's just pegged in. But I'll move that one because I know this one moves. It only goes up, it doesn't go down very much. It goes to about there. It probably will go a little bit more, but I don't want to break it. You know me and breaking things. I say the legs. See, that face does fall off a bit. Let's go up and that moves out of the way. 
everything's a bit squeaky and then it goes back into place which is great knee joints like so like I said this is the most I've ever really moved him because I kind of stood him even in the original review all those years ago did you know actually it was my anniversary the other day I've been doing this for three years yep three long years and um, eBay sent me a nice email to say congratulations on your three years and yeah and told me in exactly how long I've been doing it in minutes which is a really long time yeah so yeah that is kind of all I can say about it like I say got this this was one of the first things oh, actually the first thing I ever ordered off of AliExpress was the um KO is it KO2 Play Iron Man I got that which I got out of the box went to do the um you know the hero pose the on one knee thing and instantly broke it and it's taken me years to glue the it's the, the like this bit broke so it's taken me years to glue that back together now it is so yay so what I'll do see if this works do, 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 do. oh yeah look at that you see I forget I've got this very big tripod I always forget that I can just do that so yeah let's bring him in a bit close there we go Yeah, this is this is kind of one of those. I remember on it. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? And I, I for the life of me, cannot now remember how much it was. Um, but you can still find these out there. I think. It's a long time since I've looked for any. Look at all these little bits. It's, it's amazing. So yeah, I say this is where I started with the knockoffs. Then I kind of got into more and more. Um, I did order this morning a. Um, Harley Quinn knockoff, which you'll have seen the pictures of. I put a picture of it on my um, community tab. Go look at that. There is a picture of what I've I've ordered on there. I've also ordered um, a NECA KO Alien Resurrection, the big the big creature from the end, and I've also ordered a SH Figure Arts KO Hulk from the last Avengers film. You know, he's in the 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 suit, the blue and purple suit, I've ordered one of those, so they should be on their way, but yeah, it's just a little video just to show, because like I say, it's been a year since I started, oh, three years since I started doing this, and I used to do film reviews and things like that, but once I started showing these guys off, this is what you guys want to see, these and the other action figures, but I will say, <laughs> I'm now monetized because I go over a thousand, but you really don't make a lot of money at this, and it is really difficult at the moment, and yeah I'm I'm putting probably a little bit more money into this than I'm getting out of it but I'm hoping that eventually it will start paying for itself room wasn't built in a day most people do this for 10 years before they start actually making money at it I'm on three so duh so yeah anyway that is my little video over and done with it was only just a little show off of the old group. I'm now going to struggle to get him back in the cabinet. I do have some real um, hot toy figures so if you'll be interested in seeing any of those do let me know because I have put some videos on um, of some of my Iron Man's. I've got some of the Avengers, I've got Tony Stark down there, War Machine, Scarlet Witch. So yeah I've got some so if you're interested in them let me know in the comments and things at the bottom. Yeah so yeah that's it really. Um, I hope you all look after each other and yourselves. Um, have a great day, a great night, and I will see you all in another video. Bye now.